Hi, my name is Doug Cito, Senior Technical Support Engineer at Tipco Jasper Soft Corporation. Today we're going to be covering the Java Bean data source example. And this example actually consists of three parts, but first we need to go over some prerequisites. The first is you'll need to download the Jasper Ports server installer as well as the Jasper Ports library. The second is that you'll want to import the Jasper Ports library examples into Jasper Studio. The Jasper Reports library is actually available on eDelivery uh, and you'll see it here at the bottom, this zip file. Now the three parts of this example are as follows. You have the source code which we're going to do, uh, modify and this source code is available in the samples folder of any Jasper Reports server installer. The second is the sample report which is going to make use of the Bean data source we're going to create. And lastly we have the Bean definition file which is needed by the Jasper Report server application in order to detect the beam. Now the first part, which is the Java source code, is actually here in the um, in the Jasper Report server installer samples folder. And if you go into the custom data source folder, You'll see that there are several Java files uh, which we will use as a basis for our uh, Java Bean definition. Uh, you see here that there are two files, custom data source and custom simplified data source service .java. What we'll need to do is modify the custom simplified data source service .java file. And so what I've done is I've created a new file, Doug data source service. Java. This is essentially identical to the out of the box service.java file, with the exception of this last method, report data source service, uh, which is a static method, and all it does is create a new instance of this Java class. Once you've made the modification and saved it, you're going to want to compile the Java files using ant, and the class files actually end up here. And these class files will need to be copied to an identical folder location in the Jasper server web application. And uh, as you can see, I have went ahead and done that here. And so the class files will end up here so that Jasper server knows where to look for the actual uh, class definition. The second part of this Bean data source example is the report that is going to use the Bean data source resource we will later create in Jasper server. And this view is what you'll see after you've imported the Jasper reports library examples. Uh, as you can see here in the Project Explorer, you start off with the uh, Jasper Report samples, which we've uh, imported. You're going to drill down into the data source folder, and the report that we're interested in is this one here, data source report onejrxml And uh, we will actually publish this report to Jasper server. And we won't specify data source because we'll create the Bean data source later on. The final piece of this example is the Bean definition file. And this is something that you'll create on your own. And uh, all it really has to consist of is two items, which is the Bean ID, in this case, Doug, and the class that that you created, which is the Doug data source service uh, in my example. And this XML file, you'll want to copy it into the web-inf folder so that uh, after you restart a Jasper server, it picks up the Java Bean. 
After we've added the configuration files to the Jasper Report Server Pro web app folder, we've restarted Jasper Server and uh, we've created the Bean Data Source repository resource. And uh, you take a look. You're going to actually create a bean data source which you could select on this drop down. And for the bean name, it's going to be Doug, which follows the, uh, the bean definition file that we created earlier. And the method, which is also required, we're going to use the method name that we added to the uh, Doug data source service Java definition file. And uh, after testing connection, you should see a successful test connection. We've also published the sample report that uses the Bean data source. So now, if we go ahead and do a test run, you'll see that the report actually gets the data from the Bean data source. Now, the Bean data source actually will instantiate the service class that we uh, modified earlier and it actually will uh, absorb a JR data source object which is going to uh, grab the data within its own, in this case, a Java definition file. The uh, JR data source definition file is actually in the same folder as the uh, Jasper reports um, server samples folder, uh, which is also where we found the Java, def Java definition file for the uh, custom uh, data source service class. Uh, after this, you have successfully created a Bean data source on Jasper server. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and have a great day.